Get that through your head tonight. Learn uh, what, what the Bible says about truth. Now, in this supposed cartoon, uh, you see it is absolute pure foolishness. This goes down to the lowest level of standards. Have you noticed today how the whole standards of morality have just dropped? I notice kids say words nowadays that we were, my mom wouldn't even let us say when I was growing up, and I wasn't even a Christian. And they say it now like it's nothing. Now you listen to me tonight. Our whole society, we think it's funny for somebody to talk dirty. And our society is just getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier and dirtier all the time. Now, the, the creator of this cartoon, you can go ahead and get those lights for me, Jimmy. Uh, the creator of this cartoon claims he is an atheist. And if, he, if you're an atheist, you don't believe in God. Ah, theist, no God. And uh, if you don't believe there's a God, then uh, why would you go around messing with him, talking about him and cussing him all the time and making cartoons against him? If I really, really didn't believe there was a God I wouldn't write books against him or I wouldn't waste my time telling stuff about him and trying to get people not to believe in him. Who cares? If ain't no God, just do whatever you want to. And then when you get real sick, blow your brains out. That's the best philosophy you could have if there's no God. But if there is a God, everything's different. Now, my opinion is the man, that's good, the man who uh, wrote the cartoon Family Guy, in my opinion, had something bad happen to him when he was young. And he's mad at God. And all this stuff is a kickback against God. Watch what they're showing. They say, well, that's adult swim and that's, that's cartoons for adults. But you're kidding yourself if you think kids ain't watching them. Watch this tonight. I'm not going to have any audio, just a little short video. Some of this will make you mad and sick. But this is what our kids are being taught and shown now. The family guy is a little cartoon here. You see, it packages it in cute little characters. First thing you notice is that devil sign there, right there. See that? Right there. And that's, uh, in reality, that's a satanic sign. Them three fingers are turned down to deny the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and the two up to represent the horns of Satan. That's what that's a, that baffinet satanic symbol. Of course, they've put these people with four fingers. You know why they always got four fingers? You know who has four fingers? Animals. Animal characters. And aliens. All, all those alien mixture of humans and alien demonic creatures have four fingers. Watch this. This is just a couple of pictures. I'm just going to take about two minutes of uh, video here and show you the old time cartoons were a lot different than what they are now. And then they got a little bit worse with the Simpsons and, uh, back in the day a few years ago. And now this. This is the way they portray God to kids. Notice the first thing you see is he's an old, scary-looking, senile, crazy man that lives in the sky and just wild and crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, kids, that is not a picture of God. God don't look like that. God don't act like that. You're not going to like some of this, but it's so bad that God, how they, see how he's got four fingers? Here's where they saying that God, in this episode, created the universe not by a spoken word, but by his bodily gases. If you think that's funny, you're sick in your head. And you go around saying words like, we were not even allowed to say the words that you kids say for that all the time. Well, I wasn't even saved. It's a filthy talking generation that we live in. You know what that's for? Look here, his arm, watch God arm wrestling the guy here in this episode like it's cool and cute and here's God trying to be as strong as this man, old timey crazy man with sandals and a robe. Here's God trying to pick up girls in a bar and he sits down beside this pretty girl and trying to pick her up. Now, now listen, y'all, come on, come on. Now, what, what, if, what if you made a video of Muhammad, uh, of what I've already showed you here tonight? Oh, my, you'd have World War III going on. You'd be called a hater. You'd be charged with hate crimes. They'd be saying, you can't do that. You're blaspheming other people, really. Well, how does that come on every single night and nobody on the news network says a word? Even Fox News. 
I'll tell you why, brother. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. We're living in a world that's controlled by Satan, people. Look at here what God does. Look here. Here he is with a sniper rifle. There he is getting a job as a receptionist in that episode. Here he is again trying to pick up girls in bars, making God the Father a whoremonger, chasing women. Here he is coming on a little jet ski in the sky, being cool. Here's God in bed with his girlfriend, making phone calls probably to earth down just a hair, brother. Uh, look at that. Look at that tonight. You know what that is? Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Now, if you're sitting there saying, oh, I think it's just funny, Brother Danny, you're getting all bent out of shape. on That just shows how backslid and how cold and how far our morals have sunk in this country tonight. Brother, if you'd have showed that in the church 50 years ago, it, people wouldn't have been able to sleep that night. That's where we've got to. That's our Father, God of the universe. Look here, what they're saying here tonight. As God has Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and look, the reason God don't want them to come to this tree of the knowledge of good and evil is because he has stacks of pornography there, hustler and playboy, that he's trying to keep the pleasure hid from Adam and Eve. That ought to make you feel bad if you look at pornography. That ought to make you feel bad if you look at dirty videos on your phone. That ought to make you feel bad if you sit up on the internet at net, uh, 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 internet at net after everybody's gone to bed and watch dirty stuff on that computer. Say my right there. Listen, people. Listen, we're living in a filthy generation. You say, well, I just can't quit looking at it, preacher. Now, you might need to get rid of your computer or your phone or both of them, TV and all. You know what? You say, oh, I don't take out. You know what the Lord told him one time? He said, if I can't quit sinning with that right hand, you better off to cut it off. Look at that. God drinking beer with one of those big chug a lug things, drinking a beer. And then here in the library, you see, notice uh, the all C and I you hear me preach about so much uh, on the back of the dollar bill. The book uh, by Richard Dawkins, isn't that what they put in this? Uh, that's the God delusion, the God delusion. That's uh, life and, that anybody who believes in God. Here it says in this episode, it says, how are we going to help our first graders? And they said, burn everything that's harmful to God. And the first thing they throw in the fire is logic for first graders. Saying logic is harmful to our belief in God, so burn the book on logic. In other words, it's illogical to believe in God. Smart, educated people don't believe in God. That's what they're saying. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. Uh, in, these, in this other uh, episode of this same cartoon, you got Jesus Christ there as a hippie throwing up that 666 sign. See that 666? That's not three-pointer. You see them sixes? Uh, his one up, of course, he has four fingers. Jesus Christ had five on both hands. But they make him a four-fingered mixture of an animal and something else. I don't know what. But look how they make Jesus look like some kind of weak, sissified, anemic sissy. And they always have the devil, these big muscles, and he's a big, strong man and got a big, strong voice and make Jesus look like some kind of a weirdo like that. That's not the way the Lord Jesus Christ looked or acted. Here's Jesus in heaven, but all these other gods are in heaven too with a 666 sign. Uh, Zeus, uh, other, other, other uh, Greek gods and goddesses. Here Jesus, in this episode, Jesus works at a record store, at a rock and roll store, and got a job there part-time, the Lord Jesus Christ. wonder why he's obsessed with Jesus. Here Jesus got in trouble and got in jail. There he is with a diaper on, going wild, shooting up a bunch of people and hurting them. Here's the devil uh, in, in hell with a vacuum cleaner and the hounds of hell you hear so much about talking. Here's the one Christian in the series and they make, see how they make him look like a crazy, crazy Bible waving nut. There's Christianity according to our generation. I'm telling you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me, boys and girls, listen to me, listen to me, 
tonight. Uh, listen, you're, you're not a weirdo if you're a Christian. You're not, a, you're not some kind of freak if you're a Christian. Christians are the smartest people on this planet. You're a wise young person that'll say, yes, I'll live for God, and yes, I believe the Bible. I don't care what they say at school. I don't care what they say down the street where I live. I'll take my stand for the Lord Jesus Christ and let this world do whatever they blessed want to do. Amen? Look at here, and I'm through this video. Watch this. The Christians, see the Holy Bible? Going to beat him over the head with it. That's the way they portray Christians, crazy people. 